Thomas test assesses relative tightness of the iliopsoas, a one joint muscle, and rectus femoris, a two joint muscle. By observing variations in knee and thigh positions during this test, indicated when the leg cannot achieve parallel with the knee flexed. Iliopsoas tightness is indicated when the leg cannot achieve parallel with the knee extended. Rectus femoris tightness is indicated with a positive part 1 and a negative part 2. The following is an example of a patient and therapist interaction. Hi Becky. How are you? Good. Good. My name is Britta Gautier. I'll be your physical therapist today. Um, we'll be doing a test called the Thomas test. Um, I know you have some hip flexor tightness, um, so it's difficult for you to kind of stretch your hip back like this. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're going to be doing is looking at a couple of muscles in your hip. Um, one is called the iliopsoas muscle. Um, and if we look at our front skeleton here, the psoas muscle attaches on your spine here and then comes down and attaches onto your thigh bone here. It's a one joint muscle. Um, it'll bend your hip like this. And then it also combines with the iliacus muscle to become the iliopsoas muscle. And that one goes from here um, to the same spot on, on the thigh bone. So it will also bend the hip like this. Um, so we're gonna differentiate that muscle from the rectus femoris, um, which is another muscle um, that starts here and then attaches down past the knee um, at the patellar tendon. And so that one actually straightens the knee and bends the hip, okay? okay. So we're gonna differentiate those. Do you have any questions? No. Nope. Okay. Okay, so now Becky, we're actually going to do the test. Um, if you wouldn't mind sitting at the edge of the mat here. Okay. So I see that you have really good sitting balance. Um, I also wanted to ask, do you have any major issues with your lower back, your knee, or your hip? No. Any pain or anything? No. Okay. All right, so we will go ahead and start the test. So what I'm going to be doing is lowering you down onto your back. And what I want you to do is hug your knees nice and closely to your chest, okay? So I'll be supporting you on the way down. All right, so go ahead. Great. Now, what I want you to do is hold on to this leg, and I want you to keep it in that position, and make sure that you keep your lower back nice and flat on the mat here, okay? So go ahead and hold on to that one. You want to keep it nice and bent, okay? Yep. So I'm going to help you lower your leg down here. Okay, so that's as far as we can go, and I do see that you do have an angle here at your hip, which indicates some hip flexor tightness, okay? Now we're gonna do this test again, so I'm gonna bring your leg back up. And now I'll be differentiating between those two muscles. So again, I want you to hold on nice and tight there. All right, and this time I'm going to straighten your knee. And lower down. Just relax here. So you are flush to the table here, which indicates that you have good length of your iliopsoas muscle. Um, however, your rectus femoris is tight. And we can confirm these results just by bending the knee here. And we see that it does bring that angle back at the hip. All right, so now go ahead and hold on here. I'm going to support you back up into sitting, okay? Okay, all right. 